All right, I decided to make a uh, video of a Schemobile bridge that me and my buddy Dave built a few years ago. The frame of the bridge is built out of 2x6 junior beams, which is a light-duty steel I-beam. The length of the bridge is 26 feet, the width is 6 feet, and that's got a usable finished surface of about 5 feet. The weight of the bridge is about 400 pounds for the frame and 750 pounds for the decking, bringing the total weight of the bridge to about 1,150 pounds. It took two of us about two or three days to uh, build this bridge. Uh, we welded it in the garage with a small Campbell Hosfeld wire feed welder running flux core wire. It worked okay. A uh, bigger welder would have been easier. The duty cycle on this one is kind of short. You spend five minutes welding and 20 minutes waiting for it to cool. In addition to that, more amps would have helped. Um, the frame wasn't too critical. It's welded to within an inch or two uh, square and level. Uh, the, the webbing you see, uh, the placement is not, you know, too, it's a little bit random. We're not engineers. We're, we're just looking to strengthen it up a little bit and uh, get some, uh, a little bit of rigidity in it. So after we get done welding it, we strapped it to the garden cart and used that kind of like a wheelbarrow to wheel it out into the woods. We had to go about 150 feet, not too bad. And as, uh, this actually worked pretty good. Uh, when we got it out of there, it was out there. It was mostly muscle power to get it off the cart and across the uh, the span, uh, but it wasn't too bad even for a 400 pound frame and uh, and two people. We also, uh, you can see here, we put some pressure treated strips down the length of the bridge to use as uh, nailers for the decking. So here you can see the underside of the bridge with the junior beams and the uh, bracing. And this is this little stream we had to go over. It's a runoff stream. It doesn't run all year round, but there's a lot of rocks in it. So this is really about the only way to get across uh, this part of the uh, stream with the Eskimobile. Here we have the uh, bridge with the deck on it, still minus the sideboards. But we used uh, that Trex decking or one of those similar type plastic decking boards that people are, are using nowadays. Uh, it's not the best because it's extremely slippery when there's any water, ice, snow, leaves, anything on it. Uh, but it was free, so that's what we used, and it worked out pretty good. It's also a little bit ugly. It's, it's an odd color. Uh, Pressure-treated lumber would have been way better, pressure-treated decking, but that would have been a fair amount of money, and this was free. So this is what we used. And here's a, here's a view of the almost completed bridge, still minus the, minus the sideboards. And here's the, uh, here's the bridge with the sideboards as it sits today. Next, we're going to have a clip showing that there is, in fact, a little bit of bounce in this thing. All bridges are designed to flex pretty much, and this one is no different since it does clear span, this, this span. This is a 26-foot clear span bridge. Even though it, does, it is a clear span bridge, it, it will still hold uh, at least 1,000 pounds minimum. We have had a 600-pound ATV, 150-pound rider, a hundred pound garden cart and several hundred pounds of wood on this bridge without an issue at all. And now I'm going to leave you with a clip of a ride over on this bridge. Uh, please excuse the Blair Witch shake.